doing the, uh, the champions at the pins, you know, the unbuilt champions, and there was like a dozen of us. And we walked out there, we were just kicking it lower posterior, right? And somebody from the sideline goes, who are those guys in the Black Stars? And what the woman was on the she looked at, her, looked at her and just, just really smiled and said, well, they're all stewards. And uh, they're nice, they just don't want to <laughs> <laughs> Nice. A quick one about him, and he came out to Crown Tournament this past, uh, last Crown Tournament, and uh, I brought my 16-year-old daughter to meet him. I said, this is my old friend, Duke Hitman, makes more. I said, he was king of Osteora six times. And he looks at her, he says, that means I was really stupid six times. <laughs> <laughs> my 16-year-old daughter's judgment on meeting Duke Hitman was that he was chill. Nice. <laughs> nice. Y'all enjoy the golf course now. Um, how that started? You know, we'll tell you the story of it. How did Gulf War start? Tell us the, how, it started. Tell how it started. You heard the story about the seven samurai? Well, we had the six stupids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Inman gathered up some of his friends for a weekend little trip. And we all jumped in five o'clock on a Friday. He said, Bear, get your stuff. We're leaving. And I had to drive to Dallas to do it. This guy named Sutan, who also became a king later, had a 16-foot trailer, and we threw everything we could into that for all of us. And we jumped in two vehicles and headed into the away from the sunset because we went east. And we just kept going until we ran out of land. And go ahead. Yeah, that's it. We ran out of land, and there were that. There's one of the tents. It was 7 o'clock in the morning when we got there on Saturday. We had no breakfast, we got in our armor, and then we started to fight. And we changed sides in every scenario. It got really confusing. <laughs> really. I mean, after one battle, they said, What are you doing? You're on our side. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, you can get back up. <laughs> it was Inman, Sutan, Bear, Hildebrandt, me, and then uh, and, uh, well, there were two squires, the rest of us were knights. One of the kingdoms had never won a bridge war against the other side. Never. So we said, okay, we were out there to teach and see what we could drum up for business. So we said, okay, we'll show you how to do this. So five of us got on the bridge and made the shield wall. There, and Inman had spears. If you've never seen a sewing machine at work, <laughs> they kept score. Yeah. Emmett had 97 kills. Yeah. I had 87. The rest of the army on our side sat down because the other army could not break our shield wall. They just, they said, okay. And every time they would charge up the sewing machine, they just drill them and they just kept hauling bodies off as fast as they could. And the thing about that was, they get, they get used to our, what we're doing, and then we'd go, there! So, yeah, we just switch sides. And we'd go back to him. He said, he, he played the student that different night. We just had a woman. And that's what they signed. And that's what was over with. They got together, and then went in and signed the treaty. I have to be the first prime prince of the first of the almost died. <laughs> yeah, it was in June. Yes. The first Gulf War, if you've never heard the story, the trees won. Yeah, they did. They we did. went off into the woods on a flag chasing scenario. Oh my gosh. And we all went marching into the woods. Well, what we didn't know was the boundary markers were the same color tape that the loggers were using. Oh, no. So we're off hiking into the woods. And we keep seeing the boundary, so we just keep on going. Try to circle around. We kept going. And we kept going. So this is in Southern Meridies in June. It got hotter. If you can imagine, all the trees were there. It's Gulf War. There was ten times as damn as they are now. A tornado comes through, wipe out a bunch of them. But the, the air was no air. The temperature there was 102 inside the shade. Right, and the first battle we had, half the people dropped out. Which is why Gulf War Taylor. Right. And 
So we actually had two people who got so far through the woods they were picked up by the highway patrol about five miles down the road. <laughs> had you rescued and brought and they said, What are you people? Where are you from? There's a camp out here somewhere. We lost it. They were put in a patrol car and brought around. We formed a line. And those of us got out first, formed a line with ice chests and towels, and as fighters came out, we dipped the towels in ice water, washed the heads off so they could survive to get back to their camp. We just kept soaking people. Okay? I passed out. You saved my buttons, I wasn't reading Somebody split up cereal right behind me. Ginger box. I lit up a cigarette. And I got hit with a cigarette smoke. And that was going to be put me on the back of the truck. They were going to haul me to the hospital. There was at least 70 cross station casualties. That was the Primary Zero, Australia Zero. Yeah. Well, we do not have wood battles anymore. They may fight the ravine, but no more woods. Yeah, that makes sense.